strangers in our own land in the last pocket of resistance. So now Topsy puts Kissinger on trial for war crimes and the entire subway car finds him guilty. They sentence Kissinger to be hanged by the neck, only there's no neck to put the rope around. It's just the head of Henry Kissinger. But what the mayor and his associates have done here. The police were pissed, throwing us down onto the rough, tough pavement. Everything changed that day. There was an enemy out there. But who was the enemy? We became the enemy. Strangers in our own land. In the last pocket of resistance. Alphabet City. So now I gotta get off at City Hall. And Topsy follows me all the way to the Federal Building. Up those scary steps and through the scanners. So they get really annoyed with me there in the building because I'm carrying on like a psycho shouting at all the security guards. I got this elephant over my shoulder and Henry Kissinger's head in my bag. No, I was shouting, not Kissinger. I was stressed out. I had a pickup up on 89th Street, a poodle pickup. I had to take Fifi to the spa. And guess what happened then? They wanted to rip flesh from bone with their bare, dripping teeth. We were on our list. That's when we became the enemy. Strangers in our own land. The bicyclists, the poets, the dancers, the artists, the writers, you name it. Anyone who was against the mechanical monsters on four wheels. The police were pissed. They wanted the enemy. They wanted to rip flesh from bone with their bare dripping teeth. One of them pointed a shotgun. Pointed it right in my face. They would never use a shotgun on human beings. That's we're all gathered in this room together and they've got a freaking shotgun. They got flux. Yeah, like they thought we were the bad guys. A freaking shotgun. Got too close with his video camera. I was afraid they were going to get pissed or freaked out. Yeah, I was afraid the guy with the shotgun was going to start freaking out. Got too close. Too close to the cops. I was afraid, Louie. I was afraid they'd take a hard look at me and accuse me of being some kind of thought criminal. Took him out of circulation. I was afraid they were going to try to neutralize my urges or read my thoughts. They cuffed him. Took him away. Took him in for interrogation. Maybe modification. The cars are starting to look like tanks to me, especially them big damn cabs. They brought a freaking tank. A tank, yeah, lumbering up the street, lumbering up to get us, to get me. Right in the middle of Monsignor Fellini's crucifixion. Damn, he looks so good up there on the cross. Lots of red, very visual. We should have skipped that poem he had about his rabbit that got kidnapped and fried for East. Here they... They burned out everything. They burned out his memory. The they tore down our garden. Cops in riot gear. SWAT teams in flak jackets. Burned out his urges, his dreams. Brought in a bulldozer. Wiped our spot from the face of the earth. Hell, they probably even burned out that blackened liver of his. They went after my buddy Brad with his guerrilla radio show. His pirate broadcasts. That's why I'm telling you, stay away from the greasy animals. It's the Kissinger of death, baby. Listen to me, listen to me. Hitler wanted to freeze his brain, right? Right? They grabbed Mistress Marilyn, took her away on handcuffs, did a whole number on her. Je sens des choses que je ne veux pas affronter. Des choses perdues en moi. Hours of interrogation under hot lights. I'll bet she probably enjoyed it. Et je veux me débarrasser de ces choses. Le plus tôt, le mieux. They made her sign some kind of loyalty oath. All of a sudden, I can't hear the ocean anymore. They wanted her to stop singing and dancing, doing her thing. It was like they wanted her, it's like they wanted us to stop living. Tout à coup, je ne veux plus entendre ta mère. C'est seulement moi et moi dans le sable chaud et ces choses perdues en moi. The enemy had floated up into the sky along with everything else from the Twin Towers. 
whirring blades in the night sky, ricocheting between the war that never went away and the choppers above my skull. Buzzing bug-eyed choppers shooting their gadgets and gizmos down at us, at our gardens, at our peaceful spots of earth. In the last pocket of resistance, Alphabet City. I'll see you back at base camp. Yeah, I'm almost there, I'm almost there. We were the only ones left. Smitty, Flux, my buddy Brad, Mistress Marilyn, Bridget the video goddess gal. They're coming for us. Louie, things are changing here. Ah, cops said we were troublemakers. They had us in their sights even before the towers went down. And now everyone was on their list. Well, at least all the guys and gals in Mistress Marilyn's back room. Energy that never dies. Some kind of spirit, a vibe, karma. I'll bet the mayor doesn't even care about peace and love. Unless he's on the top of the pile. Strangers in our own land. Hey, Louie? Louie, hey, hey. Louie? It's gone. They said my tree was diseased. Things are changing down here, Louie. I told them they were diseased. Somebody said City Hall was angry at the stories we were doing at her place about the mayor tearing down our gardens for his buddies. You know, his real estate cronies. Ripping up the flowers. Tearing down the trees. Bicyclists being roughed up. Like an invasion by a foreign army to conquer our neighborhood. By artists being arrested. Tree huggers and poets the last pocket of resistance. And the downtown dudes with their digital devices. Hey Louie, I'm worried about my buddy Brad. With some of the union guys on the first night. To rescue anyone still in the rubble. To cut through the steel. Just a downtown guy working on his metal sculptures. Had his own welding torch. They went in all the way. There was nothing left. Everything had been vaporized in a few seconds. Felt like it was killing him to breathe Even it. Even to look at it. The mayor thinks that we should all be united against this. United together with them. No protective gear. Just some freaking pieces of paper on rubber bands. Nothing left but the spirits of strange and the bloodstained pavement. Well, I don't want to be on their team, man. Their team scares me. The whole night, breathing in death, cutting through the steel beams, his lungs filling up with asbestos. What the hell is the crime? Us jumping around, dancing around? What the hell's next? Getting down on your knees and putting your noggin on the guillotine? Trying to make art, trying to have a fun time. No, wait, that's for the big boys. who are trying to take us down with their greedy, greasy necks. Whoosh. He was desperate to find somebody, anybody, alive, alive in the rubble. So how the hell is what we're doing a problem? What does that have to do with the, the Twin Towers? Making each other laugh, getting hot and sweaty. Sweat and grime pouring off of him, along with some tears. Louie, I think they want to haul me in. Hey, Louie. Louie, I'm worried about my buddy Brad. Sink their claws into my hide for nothing, for doing nothing, for breathing. The police just arrested him. For chewing on a piece of raw broccoli. For protesting the war on his bicycle. What do they got against broccoli? They're coming closer and closer. They wanted the enemy, but the enemy had evaporated into the toxic sludge of brown ooze in the downtown air, if it had ever really been air. Evaporated, dissolved, disintegrated into the deadly sacred space. Disappeared, gone from the face of the earth. Gone with the wind. God bless you, Smitty. God bless you.